Hello, I am Milka Jagle, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Mechanical Engineering, Walchand Institute of Technology, Solapur. In the last video, we have learnt Introduction to Measurement. In this video, we are going to see Generalized Measurement System, its components and functional elements. Let us see. Learning Outcome At the end of this session, learner will be able to describe construction and working of generalized measurement system. So this is the content, generalized measurement system, components of generalized measurement system, stages of generalized measurement system. Components of generalized measurement system, primary sensing element, variable converger or transducer element, variable manipulation element, data transmission element, data processing element and data presentation element. I want you to pause the video and think on this question. What are functions of generalized measurement system? I want you to pause the video and think on it. So, generalized measurement system, in the further slides, I will be discussing what is the function of generalized measurement system. So, it is the instrumentation system, the quantity being measured is given to the first primary sensing element. In this, the quantity to be measured is sensed, that is a sensor and that is forwarded to the variable converger element. In this, if required, the signal is converted from one form to another. This is converted to the variable manipulation. Here the manipulation of signal or the physical quantity is done. So in this, we can increase or decrease the strength of the signal. It is also known as signal conditioning stage. In this, the, the signal can be conditioned according to the requirement of the next stage like signal conditioning, signal filtering, signal amplification and so on. So data transmission. In this, the data or the signal or the output is transferred from one place to another place. And the final is data presentation or data controlling. So in this the data is controlled and it is given to the data recorder or data presentation element. So first one primary sensing element. The primary sensing element receives the signal of the physical quantity to be measured as input. So in this, it converts the signal to a suitable form only if required, so that it becomes easier for other elements of the measurement system. For this, the energy is taken from the measurement system. So there is no, uh, for converting the signal, it, it converts the signal to a suitable form electrical, mechanical or other form so that it becomes easier for other elements of the measurement system. Variable conversion. Variable conversion elements convert the output of the primary sensing element to more suitable form. It is used only if necessary. If we have uh, the input as an electrical signal, so if we get the input as an electrical signal, there is no need of variable conversion. It is used only when we need to convert the signal into another form. Variable manipulation element. It manipulates and amplifies the output of the variable converger element. It is also known as signal conditioning region. It removes the noise present in the signal. data processing element 
in this data processing element it is more important element in instrumentation systems it processes the data signal received from the variable manipulation element and produces suitable output data processing element may also be used to compare the measured value with standard value to produce required output so it is data presentation it is used to present the measured physical quantity in a human readable form it receives processed signal from data processing element and presents the data in a human readable form led displays are most commonly used data presentation elements in many measurement systems so the figure number 2 shows block diagram for generalized measurement system so so here the first stage is called as input stage that is sensor and transducer the second stage or it is known as an intermediate stage that is manipulator transmitter and processor and the third is known as output stage it is controller indicator and recorder so we are going to discuss this generalized measurement system in detail in the next slides so stages of generalized system as we have said input stage it is also known as detector transducer stage second is intermediate stage that is signal conditioning stage and the third is output stage that is also known as data presentation stage first input stage here sensor and transducer the sensor senses the physical system and it gives the signal to the transducer transducer converts one form of signal into another form so that is nothing but a transducer and the both are known as detector transducer stage input stage is acted upon by the input signal such as length pressure temperature angle etc and which transform the signal in some another physical form when the dimensional units of input and output signals are same this functional element is referred as the transformer second one is intermediate stage it is in this stage signal amplification signal filtration signal modification and data transmission is done so why we need signal amplifications sometimes uh, the signal received from the transducer are having low frequency so the next stage it needs or it requires the signal which are amplified so the signal from the transducer are taken and the conditioning is done that is the frequency of the signal or the strength of the signal is increased that is nothing but signal amplification second is signal filtration signal filtration sometimes the signal contain noise or disturbances which are not required in the next stage which may uh, which may affect the output so this noise or the noise signals are to be removed so filtration of signal is done so as to get noise free signals signal modification sometimes the uh, the next stage of the process requires a specific band of the frequency it may for example uh, it needs the frequency from 50 to 60 hertz so in this modification signal modification the signals are modified and those signals are given to the next element data transmission data transmission it gives the signal from one place to another it it sends the signal from one place to another place and the last one is output stage output stage consists of controller indicator and recorder and display units so this is the output stage output stage consists the data display record or control the data presentation stage collects the output from the signal conditioning element and presents the same to be read or seen and noted by the experimenter for analysis for example 
विजुअल डिस्प्ले टाइप सच एज हाइट ऑफ लिक्विड इन अ मैनोमीटर और पोजिशन ऑफ पॉइंटर ऑन द स्केल सो इट शोज द डेटा और इट डिस्प्लेज द डेटा सो न्यूमरिकल रीड आउट ऑन एन इलेक्ट्रिकल इंस्ट्रूमेंट एनी इलेक्ट्रिकल और डिजिटल इंस्ट्रूमेंट शोज द डेटा इन द न्यूमरिकल फॉर्मैट दैट इज नथिंग बट डेटा प्रेजेंटेशन graphic record on some kind of paper chart or a magnetic tape so this is the output stage references thank you